we got South Korea and Portugal coming up here. South Korea have lost five of their last seven matches at the World Cup. Portugal have won six of their last eight matches, and they've won to nil in five of their last eight matches. South Korea won seven of their ten World Cup qualifiers to reach the tournament automatically. Paulo Bento's side played ten games to prepare for Qatar, resulting in six wins, two draws, two defeats. They played one friendly in November, a 1-0 win against Iceland. The Warriors started their World Cup campaign with a 0-0 draw against Uruguay, failing to fashion a shot, on, a shot on target, with the South American side hitting the woodwork twice. South Korea are coming off a 3-2 defeat against Ghana. They were 2-0 down at halftime. Two quick fire goals to Kwe Sung, getting them level but unable to go on with the job. For Portugal, well, they had to qualify for Qatar through the World Cup playoffs, beating Turkey 3-1 and North Macedonia 2-0. The Selecao required a draw against Spain to reach the Nations League finals, suffering a 1-0 defeat after conceding in the 88th minute. Fernando Santos' side played a friendly November, beating Nigeria 4-0, with Fernandes scoring twice, followed by strikes to Ramos and Mario. Portugal started the World Cup with a 3-2 win against Ghana, with Ronaldo, Felix and Leao on target. They then beat Uruguay, with Fernandes scoring both goals. Yeah, it did not go off Ronaldo's head or hair. Anyway, South Korea have been poor at the World Cup and were fortunate to get a point against Uruguay. Portugal should be too good here and register a third straight win in Qatar. Gotta go with Portugal win, full-time result at minus 125 as a play here. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. I'm always interested to hear your take though. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck gang, go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.